but that's okay. So yeah, I'm definitely starting to enjoy the Sword and Shield more and more the farther I get into this Let's Play. Chacha Ration. Need some rations. I guess he does go over, over level 20, by the way. He must cap out at level 30. And if it's not level 30, then I really don't know. <laughs> oh, the Great Jag, he should spawn in Area 4 as far as I know. Cha-Cha wants to do any work. Oh, hey! He starts in Area 4, but he must run over to Area 1 very quickly. Whoa! Thanks, Renopolis. Thank you. And by the way, something you'll never have enough of are King's Frills, oddly enough. Unless you're doing the event quest with the four Jaggies, in which case you might, you might have plenty of them from that. Whoa! Oh, he almost actually got me. Alright, so under two minutes, not bad. Not coming that time. No, oh, Cha Cha, I can't save you. So, yeah, Polisher is a, a great kitchen skill to have, but try not to rely on it because it is somewhat random. So area 4. He must have gotten, like, really bored. I'm sick of this mud hole. Maybe you should clean up sometime, Barrow. Please. A clean home is a happy home, Baroth. If you live in a mud pile. <laughs> That's just not gonna work. I like that attack of his. It's like really interesting, like it never hits and it even doesn't do all that much damage, but it's kind of interesting to look at. Oh no. Hmm. Cha Cha is nowhere to help. Fair enough. So I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to hit him with bombs. I want to hit him with bombs. Maybe I'll hit him with a flash bomb at some point. Is this mud? Nope, it's a tear. Oh, that was kind of... You gotta grab those shinies quickly though, because they'll disappear if you don't. What the heck? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Did he just like, jump at me and fly away? Because if he did, that is amazing. Thank you, Guru Peko. I'll miss you. <laughs> He's like, peace out, suckers. I would have liked to have gotten him to fight Bear off a little bit. Because they will damage each other. By the way, I have found a use for Auto Guard. I, I used to be kind of a opposed to it, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to basically guard while moving around, which is pretty useful. I mean, for those of you that are kind of experienced bowgun users, uh, you realize how useful it can be to be able to like reposition yourself while being able to guard at the same time.
Oh, I actually got a hit on the tail. It's not easy to hit the tail with the sword and shield. That's why when he, whenever he gets knocked over, I usually aim for that. That, and I'm definitely not going to hit him with bombs until I've broken all the mud off of his body. Or most of it, that is. Because the sword and shield is the most useful when it's hitting something that you can do elemental damage to. Oops. I'm surprised he hasn't tripped yet. Is he in rage mode? No. Jaggy. There we go. Now he's tripping. Well, I finally broke the mud off his tail. And he's screaming. Wonder how uh, much longer until he's ready to, to capture. Where is he, Cha Cha? He's going to Area 3, right? Yes. You say we hit him with a flash bomb and then blow him up a little bit. I think you'd like that. Would you like that, Barrow? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, let's make sure we actually set that off. Oh, and he's out of rage mode. Or he's into rage mode. I sure wish he'd roll around in mud. Yes! Yes. Thank you. Oh. So much easier to kill you now. Can you notice when you break the hands that his hands will no longer be covered in mud? I suppose that's similar to breaking his head. The enraged, uh, the enraged charge never stops hurting. Oh wow. <laughs> All sorts of goofy things going on right now. I'm getting annihilated by that tail. Exhausted. And he's probably ready to capture. So let's just go ahead and get him in here. You can do it. Come on, Baroth. No! Oh, why does he have to be such a jerk? Where'd he go? He did this last time, too. Oh, he probably went to Area 4. Yeah, he, he wants to eat. You know, maybe that's the better thing to do, is just wait for him to eat and then put the trap underneath him. That's probably the safest bet. Because that's what he does every time. All right, is he still... Well, I think he broke... I think he broke the anthill. I 
for those of you wondering why this one seems to be a bit more difficult, is depending on the star quests, the monsters gain additional life and defense and things such as that. So even though I'm using a more powerful weapon, he's going to be a little bit stronger than the one that I fought in 3 star. And Cha Cha just threw a dung bomb at him. Because he's angry. Well, I'm going to keep beating you up, Barrow. Until you get into your hole in Area 3. What's the time like on this mission? I it, I hope I finish it in less than 15 minutes. It's been kind of close. Well, we better get in here. Post haste. There we go. All right. 12 minutes and 32 seconds. I mean. Not bad, I guess, for a, a four-star quest. I probably could have done a little bit better. If our buddy Kuropeko had helped us out a little bit, it would have been a lot faster. That's right, now now I'm in charge. <laughs> that was fun. A King's Frill? You get them as normal rewards in this quest? That is really good to know. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of awesome things. Huh. 